people of God, I want to tell you something. <clears throat> Spirit is willing, the flesh gets weak. That's what my brother commented on my post the other day too, and he's right. You know, this flesh that we live in, and I said this before, this thing right here, it ain't gonna never be no good, right? It is written that the flesh and the spirit, they war against each other. And I'm gonna tell you something that came to my spirit last night and again this morning. The enemy was trying to get me to do the things I used to do. Listen, but I ain't did it though. I ain't gonna do it. He said, do it. I said, I ain't gonna do it. Say, do it for the body. I ain't gonna do it. No, but let me stop. No, what I wanna say is, spirit and the flesh, they war against each other. And if you remember when I went over Solomon the other day, God gave Solomon everything that he needed. Um, I'm breathing hard, but y'all, I'm hyped up. Like, I'm, I feel so full of energy right now. I just got off my stairs, my back machine, my legs. Listen, I gotta hurry up because I gotta get to work and it's already late. But uh, good thing I got a cool ball. She ain't gonna say nothing to me. I am she. But um, Solomon, when, when he asked God for what he wanted, he asked God for wisdom to judge and discernment to, to judge his people fairly, right? Remember how he judged between that lady who rolled over on her other baby and tried to steal that other baby lady? Well, listen, he did good. He had the favor and the wisdom of the father. Everything was going right. Remember Queen Sheba? She going to go down there and try to test that man, try to ask him all them hard questions. <laughs> but look, see, that's why you got to be real and what you do because when God with you, people will see. You'll be able to answer things that the average person won't be able to answer or do things. People can feel God with you. So Queen Sheba, she got herself, her little britches um, was put in her place because Shadaman answered all her hard questions. And even she had to turn around and praise him. This guy listening to me. But anyway, um, after some time, what was Solomon down for? Now some people we could say women. Of course, in the natural realm, you know, it's natural for the, you know, he was attracted to women. He's a man, but that's natural. His downfall wasn't the women that's what physically right that happened in the earthly realm but spiritually it was his flesh lust of the eyes lust of the flesh right because it said it is written beautiful he saw the beauty on the women right so he was attracted to that lust he ain't dealt with that inner lust he ain't kept that flesh under subjection and that was the start to the downfall of his reign baby Lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh. So see, that's our ancestor. Our ancestors are in the book, right? We got to break the generational curse all the way back to ancestry. You understand? We just starting out and breaking negative family patterns. But as we study and show ourselves approved, we see our ancestors. Some of them got it wrong, baby. A lot of them got it wrong, right? But the grace and mercy of God, we thank him for that because none of us is perfect. But at the same time, it was lust of the eyes lust of the flesh right same thing with Eve it is written that she took from the fruit the, the, the tree and she bit off it Satan appeared to her going back to the old Greek word they chase he was something beautiful handsome marvelous to look at so it was more than just that apple baby it was interactions and she took and introduced that thing to Adam but listen lust of the eyes lust of the flesh so that is why we must consistently set regular routines to crucify this flesh because it will war against the spirit and the spirit and the flesh. The spirit will war against the flesh. They don't like the same things, right? So I just wanted to share that. Solomon was doing good, man. The man had his own money. Y'all remember that thing going on? What, that coming to America? The man got his own money. But yeah, Solomon saw them pretty, beautiful women and then one sucked them in. Another one sucked them in. And see, they ain't worship Yah. They ain't worship Elohim. They ain't worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the God of his father, David. So start laying with them, soul tying with them. Start worshiping their own God, doing things to please them on no good women. Right? Lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh. Remember that. Lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh. The spirit and the flesh, they war against each other. But we can take control of that. Warriors, warriors crucify the flesh, right? And don't beat yourself up. If you fall down, get back up and keep going. The Bible says a righteous man may fall seven times, but what he'll do? He'll get back up because he's righteous. Righteousness is in you. It ain't on you. <laughs> like me, no problem. Say. It's in you. It ain't on you. But anyway, y'all have a blessed day. I love you. Let's get it, baby.
lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh. We spirit led. Warriors are led by the spirit of Yah. Let's go. <laughs>